Hey guys, Grant Fitzgerald here. I'm just here to do a review on the WFPF KOs, No Obstacles. Um, I've got the, I pre-ordered these shoes uh, over a year ago. Um, it took them a long time to ship because there were some factory problems with the KO printing backwards, I believe. So they like gave us a free bag for those who had pre-ordered. Um, anyways, so I got the shoes in November. Took a few months to ship. Uh, I was very impatient. I was like, come on, get here. But I got over it and they came and it was already winter. So I didn't do much training during the winter. Some inside stuff, but not really much outside. So I didn't really get to use them till the spring. And I've been using them pretty heavily since the spring for quite a few months now. And I have to say, these things are my favorite parkour shoe I've ever worn. I hear they're very, uh, very close to the clinchy successes. All the people that uh, were on the design team, uh, are, were a lot of people, a lot of them were uh, tracers and free runners who recommended what they liked on shoes and stuff like that. So I thought these shoes were pretty well made. All right, to start with my review here, I'm gonna start uh, talking about the design overall. Uh, they have some gray meshing here, some blue there, some like the WFPF actual colors, their KO symbol right there, their logo on the back. Uh, right there it says, no obstacles, no freedom. Um, I, I like the design of these overall. Um, I wish they had more colors. That's usually a lot of complaints with shoes is they don't have enough colors. If this was purple instead of blue, I'd be all over that. Purple's my favorite color currently. And I mean, if they made them all black or stuff like that, just to kind of fit more. But I mean, overall, I like them a lot. I know a lot of people think they're freaking ugly, but I'm all right with them. Um, overall, for design, I give them a nine out of ten they could improve some some stuff more colors stuff like that cushioning on these um, these do not have a lot of cushioning I know if you're a fan of barefoot uh, training or just don't like a lot of cushioning these are actually very good for that because one thing if, when you're doing parkour and free run you want to be able to feel what you're under you're not you're not wanting to like be walking on a railing and have no idea that's what you're walking on. You want to be able to feel it on your foot. That's very good with these. I feel like I'm almost barefoot in these because when I do things I like kind of pinch, uh, grab with my toes at things and it kind of, I mean, they're not a lot of cushioning so um, it's very, it makes you have to train correctly, have to be able to land correctly and everything. Um, I mean, that's all I can see toes not very much back just like half an inch or so but um, overall for cushioning I give them a nine I mean they could use a little more for some people but overall I'm not complaining about that um, next I'm gonna talk about is grip which is the deciding factor for me usually um, the grip on these is my favorite grip I've had on any other shoe I also have owned uh, the 510 Free Runners and uh, the Nike Darts 5, I think, or 6, I can't remember. But these are definitely my favorite. Uh, very, very good on railings um, and artificial surfaces. Very grippy on those, which is one of my favorite types of training is to do precisions, rail precisions, and stuff like that. So, definitely a fan of these for uh, artificial surfaces. I give it a 10 out of 10 for artificial grip for like um, wood and brick and other such things like that the grip is very good still I mean not as good as a 510 so I give that a 9 um, otherwise I mean there's no complaint really on that I've trained a lot on cement and stuff with these and it, it's, it definitely isn't a problem they're not like slippery or anything on that um, so, overall for, um, what was I talking about? Overall for grip, 
I give them a 9.5. I mean, there's not much to improve. They're freaking awesome. Definitely my favorite shoes for grip or anything so far. Next one I want to talk about is durability. Um, these things are not durable. I mean, I know WFPF said that they're the best shoes you will ever destroy. This is definitely the truth. I mean, I've only been wearing these a few months, like five months, maybe, ish. Like, maybe total. I don't know. And you want to see totally what they've gone through. I mean, tongue's gone on there. Um, inside of my shoe, the interlacings, uh, the stitching on this side all came out, and the insoles all messed up. Uh, the bottom of this one's starting to lose its rubber there. Um, I mean, still, they're not really that, I haven't had that much of a problem with them. Um, being all screwed up like that, but thing is, I think they could make it a little better, so maybe the front part would stay on better, or the definitely the inside should be able to stay on there like always. But they like came off right pretty fast there. I mean, this one's still in, but it'd be nice if it was still in there. Anyways, um, durability could be a little better. I mean, they're they're saying. They're only a $40 pair of shoes, depending on your budget. It doesn't seem that much compared to all the other parkour and free running shoes because those shoes are all $90 and up. So definitely worth the money in my case. I mean, the first week, I think the first like few weeks I had these, this part came off right here. See that? There's all supposed to be connected to the shoelacing but it all came off but it doesn't really matter to me they could improve some stuff I give the durability uh, 7.5 just because I don't really care that much and they could improve some stuff and they're just not that durable but hey, it doesn't really matter to me next thing I want to talk about is the comfort um, not the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn 510s were definitely more the free runners, 510 free runners, were definitely more comfortable than this, but I like how light they are. That is definitely a good deciding factor. Is these are super, super light. I mean, they fall really slow, like paper. If you drop paper, it falls slow. I mean, look how slow that fell. Just <laughs> but these things are really light. Um, comfort isn't bad. There's been more comfortable shoes, but overall, I give comfort an. 8.5 because heck these things are the lightest freaking things you can find I mean I don't I'm sure Vibram five fingers are way lighter but these are very great uh, according to parkour and free running shoes overall I give these shoes a 9.5 because they are my favorite shoes I've ever worn they have a few things they could fix such as the, the, the design getting a few more colors in there fixing the durability a little bit but otherwise super flexible bend ever which way I mean they're st storage compatible I don't know anyways um, great pair of shoes definitely recommend them $40 WFPF.com um, you can customize these I guess if you want different colors I've seen people make this red or just color all the just color all over them but they're they're very good shoe and overall I give them a 9.5 I said thank you Sub subscribe like um, show these uh, videos to your friends I'm looking to really get more uh, get more viewers with my videos with this new channel up and everything so God bless and thanks for watching